it's all good. It's rolling now. Okay. So, like I was saying before, we're gonna band them. So here's, I'll show you guys these bands. These, I like to keep an extra one with me just in case because the darn things sometimes will slip off and go flying or will snap. This particular kind is good for calves up. Packaging claims 250 pounds. How but much do you think he's in for? He's about 100 pounds. Um, and him, he's about 45, 50 pounds. Um, he's already been done, so we know we're better. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we bought him was it yesterday, and he's about 100 pounds. They weighed him. They, well, they weigh taped him. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so all these are is a tube of rubber that just can roll back in on itself. Um, yeah. <laughs> so you, then you got these. Here are the, the banding tool. Um, if you look close on here, you can see that these pins have little like notches, the notch grooves wore into them. Mm -hmm. um, and that is so that you can stretch this thing, which I think this is the hardest part, into those grooves, just like that. And then it holds it in place. And then these, stretch it. And you can lock that. So you can literally have a bunch of these lined up if you've got a lot of bull calves to the band. You can have these all lined up and ready to go. So it's literally someone hand you it as you've got to hold the next calf and you're done. So we'll hop over here and I'll show you while he's laying down what I like to do for this. Um, I like to do them when they're young because then I don't have quite such a big animal to fight. I like to straddle them with my leg. And you can hold them up right here. So the biggest thing you want to do is be able to, you got to find both testicles and there they both are. Sometimes they'll slide up in. Easy. Get back up there. Okay, I got both of them. And then once it's tight, slide it off. I got both of them in there. And he's done. So that doesn't hurt? Um, at or first it can. But, like, see how he's getting up and already? Yeah. He doesn't really act like... He's going to walk funny for a little bit, you know, because it's like, hey, what, what? Um, but about five minutes, he won't even notice it's there. Cause it's already cut circulation off, blood flow, nerve endings have been deadened. For the most part, you know, he's not going to feel it. Um, these here, I like to put them so like you were seeing, like this, because it helps me space it farther away from their body, because of, like in sheep, I'd have to look it up in cattle, but there's a urethra cord, and there's just all sorts of things that actually could get caught in the banding process if you put them up tight, like some people who are really good at it, you know, they'll put it right up tight as close as they can, and then release it. Um, I don't, because I don't want to take the chance of problems later on down the road. We had one calf last fall, we think, might have had a piece of his intestine. Because they can have, a, like, a weird hernia where a piece of the, you know, intestine gets down in there. It's attached, it's pulled down, banded, and then it causes a kink point. And we think that's probably why that one was bloating con uh, constantly.
quick process. There is a little, so some people don't like to band in the summer because there's a chance of flies getting at it um, and also the heat. So what I do is I check them every day to every other day until later on when I know that the um, testicles are dead and that everything's just dried sack. I'll check them every day and then if I feel I need to I will spray them with iodine or um, it's a it's what is bacterial spray. It's a uh, fight back. It's designed for dairy cattle for cleaning and sanitizing udders for milking. It works pretty good. Keeps the flies off, keeps everything from getting infected if it's going to have a chance. Fast, simple, no blood. <laughs> cool. Now we'll go move cattle. <laughs> Thank you.